Life as We Know It with Tom Walton. The strange things I wonder about surprise even me occasionally. For example, it surprises me every time I get a piece of snail mail and the postage stamp has not been canceled. What's up with that? How did so many stamps get through the United States Postal Service cancellation process unmarked? I have to think that the USPS is losing a lot of money as a result. Certainly, I am not the only person taking note of an uncanceled stamp. For sure, there are folks who peel off the stamp and give it a second life on their own outgoing mail. Not that you or I would do that, of course. I'm also surprised by how often public signs use incorrect grammar or spelling. One of my favorites of all time was a sign that once graced the side of an automotive body shop near downtown Toledo. Wheel alignment, it said, spelling alignment A-L-I-N-E-M-E-N-T instead of A-L-I-G-N-M-E-N-T. You could argue, I suppose, that the sign was still correct. I mean, you do want your wheels in a straight line, two on the left, two on the right. Sometimes I spot a sign that is correct grammatically but comically misses a point, like this one. Ears pierced while you wait. That one was spotted at a shopping mall in suburban Detroit several years ago. I wanted to approach a shopkeeper and ask if there were any other options, but I restrained myself. I'm surprised by how frequently the same households have garage sales. I know a few of these houses near where I live, and I swear the owners drag out everything they own, at least every other weekend, and try yet again to sell it. Why go to all that trouble if you just have to drag everything that doesn't sell back inside? Judging from how much stuff still clutters their yard on Saturday evening, not much is missing and not much money was made. I'm surprised by how often the price of gasoline drops suddenly right after I filled up my tank. I'm surprised by the utter failure of the national do not call list. I added my phone number several years ago, but alas, to no avail. On the other hand, I guess I should never have underestimated the ingenuity of telemarketers and scam artists to find a way. There was a time when I was much younger that I looked forward to a phone call. Now I'm suspicious of every one. Now let me tell you something that does not surprise me, and that is the innate kindness of total strangers. Recently I was having dinner at a local restaurant, and after I was finished, I took the check to the register to pay. I realized, to my horror, that I did not have my wallet. It was one of those terrible and awkward moments in life that you just want over and done with. Who among us hasn't lost a wallet or purse over the course of a lifetime? So there I was approaching the register and trying to figure out how to explain to the manager that I needed to go out to my car and see if by chance the wallet was there. I imagined the manager would have to walk out with me to make sure I didn't drive off. Oh, the humiliation. Then I felt a tap on the shoulder. It was the young lady who had waited on me and served me my dinner. She was holding my wallet. Evidently, it had fallen out of my pocket and under the table. She spotted it while clearing the table, and she rushed to the front register to intercept me. She saved me a whole lot of grief. My tip was more generous than usual. I sure hope she wasn't surprised by that. Life as We Know It is written and hosted by Tom Walton and is a production of WGTE Public Media. Life as We Know It with Tom Walton can be heard on WGTE FM 91 every Monday afternoon during All Things Considered at 5.44 p.m. Or hear past episodes at wgte.org life.